This is the connection for the battery. There's a little hook so you can connect your battery and lie it down under the hook. Again here it takes the 7 cell mini type batteries. Once back on, the hole here, it doesn't matter which way this pin goes in, this way or this way. And that holds it all together. And then, I have two types of magazines for this G36. One is the standard size magazines that it, that it comes with. Um, this is a Tokyo Maruri one and it has some fake bullets on the inside. The high cap magazine, it's another Tokyo Marui one, doesn't have any fake bullets on the inside. Um, as with all high caps, it's got a little catch here that you open up and then you can pull the BBs in. Now the best method I've found of doing that is to use a small drink bottle full of BBs and you can literally tip them and they will all fall in. I've seen people uh, at skirmishes with these specially made bottles with a thin tube on um, filling these up and they're constantly shaking them back and putting them in again, shaking them back and putting them in uh, because the funnel blocks. These are the bottles I'm talking about, they're mineral water bottles, about half a litre, they're quite flexible plastic, high cap, the bottle just unscrews, then you basically There you have it. I think one got Something away. Else I'd like to show you that I have for this G36 is a 5,000 round box mag. Sits on the weapon like that. Good hand grip on it. Now I've got 5,000 rounds available. Now here's a neat little trick, let's say you've taken your G36, you're down at the skirmish site and I suddenly realise, as often I do, I forgot to bring my G36 magazines. Instead, I bought my M733, M4, M16 magazines, but what I have here is a magwell converter that will allow the G36 to use M4 M16 magazines. It's made by a company called Private Parts Airsoft um, and I might as well fit it, show you how it's fitted and we'll use the magazines. Because of the nature of the G36 this magwell here can easily be removed. There's a hex head nut here that you need to unscrew so we'll do that first. don't lose it. We can then pull the bolt out from this side. Don't lose that either. Now we remove those the whole magwell will come out. The thing to bear in mind here is that you need to push the release forward as you take the magwell off. We then take our conversion piece Now the thing to watch when you put this pin back is the pin has got four little notches on it and it's important that those four little notches line up with the hole here otherwise the pin won't go all the way through to the other side and you won't be able to attach the nut on the other end. So with the pin fully inserted we can then take our hex nut And then take my standard bag and use it. The ejector is on this side. 
hold it, push the button, the magazine comes out. Very quick change of subject. I have three M4, M16 magazines that have this writing on. The reason for this is these will not lock into place on the FN SCAR that I did the video on. So I've just stenciled on them, no SCAR. So there it is, the Tokyo Marui G36C. Thanks for watching and we'll be doing some shooting videos later on.